I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently, you can see I have uploaded more video on the many video on Raspberry Pi, Arduino, then Python programming, then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career. So if you want to learn something from me, it is free, and you have to just click on this subscribe button. And all the video, it is it is very unique, and you will learn definitely many things from me. I upload a mostly video on Raspberry Pi, mostly video on IoT, then Arduino. There are different types of project I have explained, and each project having the programming part. So please subscribe my channel, please support me, and please enhance your knowledge by watching my. Video. Hello friend, in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a industrial plant monitoring system by using Arduino, GSM, LM35, DST11 sensor. So before start this project explanation, I would like to tell you what I will cover in this video. So I will cover complete hardware detailed design, how to connect different hardware with Arduino. Then I will cover the program part. So each and every line from the program I will cover, I will tell you. So at the end of this video, you, you can easily develop and design this project by yourself. So I request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project. Before start the program explanation, I would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project. Now you can see on the screen, we have the temperature and humidity value continuously displayed. So this temperature and humidity value will be taken from the LM35 and DST11 respectively. So if the temperature value greater than 30 degrees Celsius, then this fan automatically turn on and at the same time, the GSM900 will send the message on the mobile like fan is on because of high temperature and it will show the temperature value on the, in the message also. If the temperature value below 30 degrees Celsius, then this automatically fan will turn off. So this is the complete idea behind this project. Now we will see the practical demonstration of this project so that you will get idea what you will learn at the end of this video. Okay now we can see the practical demonstration of this project. Now I haven't given the power to that Arduino. So you can see to provide the power I use the Arduino cable and that Arduino cable is connected to my laptop. So this is a black cable. Now once I given the power to the Arduino, the project name will be display here first and then temperature and humidity value. So I will provide the power to the Arduino. So project name is display, temperature value 27 that is room temperature and humidity 37. Now I am putting the hot gun in front of the LM35 so that this temperature value gets increased. 29 fan on after 30. You can see there are some 10 sec or 2 second delay and fan getting on. And you can see live message you can receive live message send here. You can see live message you receive. This one fan is on temperature. Fan is on temperature of room is 32. So till temperature of room below 30 the fan is turned on so we will wait till we get the below 30 message now you can see fan turn off because our uh, temperature value is below 30 so this is the so this is the complete idea behind this project i hope you understand the practical demonstration uh, now we will see the hardware connection of this project and then we will see the uh, programming part of this project Okay, before start the hardware explanation, I would like to tell you, in my previous video, I have already explained how to connect the GSM model with Arduino and LCD. So, these three hardware I have already shown in my, in my previous video. The video thumbnail you can see on the screen. So, please watch that video. That video link given in the description of this uh, video. So, please go to that link and please watch that video and try to connect GSM Arduino LCD from that video. Once you connect GSM Arduino from that video, come to this video again okay so very first we we need to connect the vcc pin here so first pin is vcc pin so from the arduino you can see so from arduino you can see there is a 5 volt vcc pin so i will take and take this 5 volt vcc pin from the arduino and i will connect into one row now this complete row act as a VCC. So whenever I need the VCC pin for the motor or DST11 or LM35 or LCD, I will take from this common VCC. Now next part is VCC pin from the LCD, I will connect there. So this is the VCC pin of LCD, I will connect to the common VCC. Okay. Now the next part is ground pin. Okay. Now next part is common ground pin. 
so ground pin from the arduino you can see this is the ground pin from arduino i will connect to the common ground so this is the common ground so whenever i need the common ground i will connect the ground pin from here now this is the one part that we completed now the next part we have to complete it complete that dst11 with arduino so you can see on the screen dst11 sensor this is the dst11 sensor you can buy this from flipkart or amazon so each dst11 sensor you can see there are three pin ground data and vcc so very important the first part is we will connect the vcc pin to the common vcc so this is the vcc pin of dst11 and this will connect to the common vcc so vcc means 5 volt supply 5 volt we already taken from the arduino and that 5 volt we connected here so that is first part now the next part is ground so ground pin from the dst11 you can see this is the ground pin from the dst11 and this should be connected to common ground so already we have taken the ground from arduino here and this is connected to common ground now the next part is data pin from the dst11 so middle one pin act as a data pin from the uh, dst11 so this is the data pin of dst11 and this data pin should be connected to nine number pin of arduino so data pin it should be connected to the nine number pin of arduino so this is the nine number pin of arduino i will connect here okay so in this way we complete the dst11 with arduino now the next part is we have to connect the rm35 so rm35 you can see this is a simple sir uh, simple circuit or you can see simple sensor and nothing there is no complicated like there are only three pin i have shoulder you can also uh, do that on zero pcb or you can directly connect to the rm35 pin so rm35 circuit you can see on the screen there are three pins one vcc ground and data out same we have to connect the same part the vcc pin from the rm35 to the common vcc so this is the vcc pin of rm35 and it should connect it to the common vcc pin then data pin from the rm35 that is middle one pin it is connected to a0 pin of arduino so here you can see there is analog pin and a0 pin of arduino should be connected to data pin of uh, lm35 and last pin of uh, lm35 is ground pin which is connected to common ground so this is very simple circuit now next part is dc motor so you can see this is dc motor simple dc motor which having two pin so one pin of dc motor we will connect it to common vcc so one pin this is nothing but the one pin and this is connected to common vcc here and the next pin you can see this is the next pin of dc motor which is connected to eight number pin of arduino eight number pin of arduino so yeah this is the very basic and easy circuit i hope you understand the circuit design and uh, uh, this one whatever the common vcc common ground from the lcd from the uh, dc uh, from the this one uh, motor dst11 and 35 we connected to common ground and common vcc lcd common ground you can see there is a ground of lcd we are connected to the arduino ground there is a ground extra here so that i have connected here you can also connect it to common ground also there is no issue and gsm also there is another one ground already available so i connected here and that i will already explain in my that video so please watch that video in that i have explained how to connect gsm arduino and lcd and in this video we have connected successfully three uh, that is lm35 dst11 motor with the arduino so in this way we complete the circuit diagram circuit connection of our project okay now we will see the program explanation of this project so we will start the program installation it is very important to understand how to install this arduino software in your laptop so how to install this arduino software in your laptop i have already explained in my this video protein simulation accident and alcohol detection video this video link also given in the description so if you don't have the arduino software in your laptop please watch that video and try to install the software okay next and very important folder you have to download from my google drive link okay next very important folder you have to download from my google drive link the google drive link given in the description of this video so this is the folder name temperature humidity gsm arduino so in that folder you will find this program so this is the program of this project so how to open that program you can open, directly double click on this program or so you can double click on this program or either you can open this software by using this shortcut on your desktop also you will get short, shortcut once you install the uh, install this software so double click on the shortcut then go to the file then go to the open 
and again go to that folder so whatever the folder i have given in my google drive link that folder you can go so let's say this is the folder in, inside this this is the folder and here here is the program so click on that program click on open so once you click on open you can see the program is open right now so in this way you can open your program okay once you open the program very important part next part is dst library so how to install this dst library i will tell you if you don't install the dst library then you will get many errors like dst library not found in your lab in your laptop and your program will not work so how to avoid that error just go to the tool and once you go to a tool sorry go to the uh, sketch then include library and click on this manage library so once you click on manage library so once you click on manage library you can see this window will be open make sure that internet should be connected here in your laptop so make sure that internet should be connected and once the internet is connected then only you can try this option and after that you can search here dst11 library let's say here dst so once you search dst11 you have to download this dst sensor library so click on that library and selected version and at your place you, here it will show install button like this install button uh, i have already installed so that it will not show for me so select any version and install that library and once that library installed you can use my program okay now then we will see now we will see the importance of each and every line so first line is include uh, dst11 then liquid crystal in software stereo so basically dst11 library is it is used for the humidity sensor then liquid crystal dot is basically used for the lcd model and software serial dot is basically used for the gsm model so this three library we have included here then after that uh, in hardware connection i told we have connected uh, rs pin to a two number then enable pin to a three number then d4 d5 d6 and d7 pin of lcd on arduino so whatever the pin that we use for the lcd that we define here then also in hardware connection i explain like the dc motor is connected to eight number dst11 uh, sensor connected to nine number and then uh, gsm model R, R, tx pin is connected to 10 number rx pin is connected to 11 number so whatever the hardware connection then temperature sensor pin is connected to a0 so whatever the hardware connection we uh, we did in hardware uh, model hardware connection chapter so that connection i have defined here then after that uh, we define for ds sensor library here then uh, define the ds sensor here then some variable i will i will tell you importance of this variable later okay then after that void setup so first line is serial dot beginning 9c00 so basically uh, for the serial combination we are using the baud rate 9c00 that's why we define our baud rate here then after that pin mode fan is output so basically all the uh, dc motor pin like dc motor pin whatever we use from the arduino it is act as output pin that's why uh, we define that pin as a output because arduino will send the signal on the dc motor that's why that pin should be output so how to define that pin output by using this line pin mode fan out then after that lcd begin 16 by 2 so we are using 16 by 2 lcd that's why we define here then at the starting we have to print industrial uh, plant monitoring system on the lcd that's why we div, uh, we printed that logic here then uh, digital write fan high so basically i am using the dc motor as a active low so active low means whenever i send the high signal on the dc motor it will turn up and whenever i send the low signal on the dc motor it will turn uh, on so to turn off the dc motor at the starting i am sending the high signal here by using this line digital write fan then high signal then our uh, dst begins so that means dst sensor start working from here then wide loop so whatever the coincide wide loop it will execute infinite number of times so first line is read temp this one so read temperature is a function so once this function is call, uh, get call this function get execute and this function you can see there is a formula to convert the read signal that is analog read it is a function which read the signal from the temperature sensor which is connected to a0 pin and that signal is stored into value and to convert that value into degree celsius this two uh, like formula is used and at the end at the cell uh, uh, variable we will get the degree celsius value then after that we have to print that temperature on the serial terminal so that's why this three line is used then after that some delay and then you can see if uh, cell uh, cell that means our temperature is greater than 30 degrees celsius we have to uh, print on the lcd like fan is on message sent then after that we have to send the message so send message function gets called and this function get executed here you can see we are sending the 80 command one by one so all these 80 command are basically used to send the message 
the message this one fan this one fan is turn on because of high temperature then temperature what is the value so this is the message these two are the at command and here you can see there is my number double nine double two five one two zero one seven so in this case whatever the uh, whatever the number you want to send that message you can put that number here like this i am deleting this number and i will add new number so please focus on here i am only deleting the number you can see i am only deleting the 10 digit number then i am giving the new number like 9663365197 so like this you can also change the number like this do not delete any single backslash double code slash slash r here also plus backslash otherwise it program will not work so only you need to update the number here 10 digit number then if you want to update the message also then you can update this message in between this double colon so you can update your message with respect to whatever you want and at the end there is slash character uh, control z character so by using this five to six line we are sending the message on this mobile number and this message is this one okay so in this way we are sending the message so uh, then agar uh, then uh, next next is let's say if this degree celsius value is less than 30 then uh, we are uh, sorry greater than 30 we, we are sending the message then next line detail write fan low so basically we have to turn on the fan that's why here i am turn giving the low signal on that fan and it will start rotating so after some time if the degree celsius value is great less than 30 then this else part will be execute and in the else part you can say fan is turning off here because i am sending the high signal on this fan so it will turn off so this is the logic behind the temperature then humidity you can see read dst alien sensor uh, is the function it's get call here and inside function you can see dst uh, humidity so by using this line we are capturing the humidity and store into value that humidity value then here we are checking if the humidity value is present or not if the humidity value is not detected that means the sensor is not connected properly so here on the screen you will find the fail to read the humidity so that's why here we are checking whether humidity value present or not so if the humidity value present you can see humidity then humidity value we are printing on the serial terminal and black slash then after that you can see after uh, after uh, temperature after humidity sensor read we are clearing the lcd and we are sending the value on the lcd like what is the temperature then what is the humidity here you can see there is a function like string of this it is known as the conversion of integer to string so that's why we are converting integer to string so whatever the value of degree celsius whatever the value of humidity it is integer form we have to convert into string form before to print on the lcd that's why we are converting into string that value and by using this four line we are printing that value on the lcd so this is the complete idea behind this program i hope you understand the program if you don't understand please watch this uh, program explanation again you will definitely understand the program now i will tell you how to run your project so you can see once the install is done like dst11 once you open the program then go to the tools and go to the board then here here you can see go to the arduino avr board and you have to select the arduino you know then after that port now you can see there is no port of arduino so once i connect my arduino the port name is visible here now i am connecting the arduino to my laptop so you can see now i have connected the arduino to my laptop you can go to the tools and then go to the port again now you can see com port 5 this is arduino port so uh, i have connected arduino successfully to my laptop then you can click on this upload button you can see this arrow click on this upload button and your project start uploading here you can see project start uploading here if your connection is okay and uh, there is no issue in the program then it will upload successfully now program upload successfully if you want to check connection is okay just click on this serial terminal you can see here serial terminal click on this serial terminal 9600 should be boarded temperature is 26 and humidity 46 that means your project is successfully working so in this way you can run your project you can run this project by yourself if you like my content please click on this uh, like button if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe the channel and support me thanks for watching this video